Yo, what up? It's the Squid Doctor. And this evening, I would like to take the opportunity to speak about some things that really, really are pet peeves of mine and that um, really irritate me. And it's not to be in the spirit of anger, but it's to really open up a dialogue uh, for the intention and purpose of self-reflection and us as a humanity uh, healing our consciousness as a whole so that maybe we can become more intelligent and navigate life and not fall victim to these really, really petty behaviors and cultural phenomenons that seem to be rewarded on some level. So to be more specific, I'm basically going to rant a little bit about how um, lame it is to be talking shit about other people. And basically, something I've observed is that people who are interesting, people who have a unique perspective, people who are living life on their own terms, meaning they get to look the way they want to look, act the way they want to act, and they get to live life on their own terms. They get to do whatever they want because they've created it and they've set up their life in that way so that they don't need to rely on a third party for anything from finances to whatever. So to me, unique, cool, interesting individuals are people who get to live life because they are them. And they bring a lot of value to the table and no one else can be them. So it's great because there's no real competition and um, it's just a cool thing. And something I've noticed about uh, people who talk a lot about other people, people who judge or criticize other people, and it might even just be like people who talk about celebrities that they know nothing about um, and jump on a bandwagon of what they think about this particular person when they don't even know them, they don't even have access to the information necessary to necessarily know that as a sworn truth. Yet they have a lot of opinions about this person and how they behave and how whatever. Um, and so one thing I want to say is that people who have the energy and time to actually be focused on another person and what they're doing and saying and trying to control that or being bitter about it or resentful is that it really just points to the fact that they have a lack of purpose. They have literally, they're not clear on their own life. They're not clear on their own direction. They're not clear on the type of person they want to be. And they're probably jealous. They're probably, you know, spiteful, resentful about the fact that there's this other person that's threatening to them because they get to go do whatever they want. Yet you're stuck here for some reason following the rules and you don't get to do what you want. So I'm going to make that person pay. I'm going to try to get some dirt on them and like destroy their name. Part of what inspired me to speak about this was that I recently had like a kind of like an internet troll person come up on my page and cause a little bit of trouble on Instagram. And it was just really, really petty, silly things. And it just really fascinates me, to be honest, that like, how do you pay your bills? How do you live in 2020 during a pandemic when your biggest goal is to be focused on someone else and criticizing the work that they do or whatever it is? Um, and it blows my mind because I think it as somebody who does really give my 1000% to every single day and what I'm doing um, and love what I do, like every single day is awesome because I love what I do and I love the work I do. I love my patients and I work very, very hard at it. And so it amazes me when I come across people or I hear from other people that somebody said something about me. And as a younger, more sensitive young boy in my 20s, I really was sensitive and it would really bother and irritate me. I couldn't understand why is it that like, I'm so nice to all these people and they just talk shit about me behind my back. Like, how could that happen? I don't understand. I thought if you were like nice to everyone that that would be reciprocated. So I was a little bit naive. I didn't realize that, you know, the nature of my own energy or whatever it could be threatening to certain people and so that awareness of like how you're energetically taking over a room or affecting other people is important because you don't want to negatively affect other people you don't want to be unmindful about you know irresponsibly throwing your energy around um and we've all done that before 
but it's also good to understand that not every single person uh, is as excited about me they have not found the thing in their life that they're excited about that is their passion and so criticizing other people acts as a distraction or a scapegoat for the fact that they don't actually have a singleness of purpose for their life and that's that's really sad that's lame and basically I think that because of trolling culture and how negative stuff uh, criticizing celebrities is always like the headlines of news is something that people fall victim to because people feel very lost right now um, they feel like they don't have control over their situation and it's easier to distract and criticize another person than it is to put all your energy into figuring out what your game plan is to move yourself forward and to grow because in all honest truth we're not getting any younger we're not gonna have any more energy in 10 years so every single day really does matter and another example would be uh, acupuncturists who like become part of organizations to make rules for other acupuncturists and it's like that's so lame like why do you care? you went to school to learn acupuncture so you could learn how to control other acupuncturists and how they practice probably because they're better than you probably because you suck at acupuncture because if you were good that's all you would want to do because acupuncture is awesome and it's a lot of fun and it's an art form that you can always get better at and learn something from every single individual patient that comes through your space and so the fact that anyone would want to spend energy policing or governing other people to me, it's a very beta move. It's extremely beta. It shows like a lack of belief in your own path. It's, it's almost like um, people who like overcompensate, like they have to get like a really fancy like red car and blast music really loud and like burn out really fast and like burn rubber and make a scene is because they don't actually feel that good about themselves. So they, they feel that they need to um, they can feel powerful in their life again if they do something like that. So these are some thoughts that I just think are... Also, another thing I want to mention is just how people... I don't understand how people have time to get bent out of shape about like what other people say to them or what they're doing because it's like, who cares? Like, why am I going to give more energy being mad at somebody that I supposedly don't care about their opinion by like getting all angry, be like, oh, I'm gonna do this to them, and blah, 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 and like, they said this to me, that was disrespectful. It's like, dude, who cares? I never have to deal with that person again if I don't want to. I never have to think about that person again if I don't want to. And I get to go back to my life that is awesome and do what I love, doing whatever the fuck I want. So, it makes zero sense for me to hold on and like, be bitter and mull over this situation where this person came at me and said a bunch of bad things and tried to like drag my name through the dirt when I haven't even seen this person. This person's not even my life. And um, this is something that happens to, you know, anybody. And I think it creates a lot of fear around being able to go do things because there's people like this who will come out and be like, oh, you can't do it that way because this, this organization says it should be done this way. It's like, cool, dude. <laughs> like, Please find a better hobby than policing other people who are very excited about what they're doing and very passionate and have worked very hard than to try to tear down the efforts of other people because of your own lack of purpose, your own lack of focus and direction, and your own personal insecurity that someone else is getting to live some dream and that that's why you're not where you are. Because the truth is, is that we are where we are because of our own past karma and our own daily actions and our own internal cultivation. So these are some thoughts. I got real fired up and made this video way too long, but hope that was valuable and I'll talk with you soon. Peace.